my channel and welcome back to one of my favorite videos to make of all time. So I really tried to think outside the box and I didn't want to do anything too hard. I wanted to do something that was simple but still different and doesn't include a lot of ingredients. You want something quick, simple, minimal ingredients that you can just whip together before school or before work. When I was working in retail, I just couldn't be bothered to come home and cook, but I knew that I wanted to eat healthy. This is my crunchy chickpea variation. So I'm gonna do one savory and one sweet. Some days I want like salty chips and then other days I want like chocolate and candy. So all I've done so far is drained two cans of organic chickpeas and then rinsed it in some water. And then this is the tip to get it crunchy. So spread them out over a tea towel and then all you're going to do is slowly massage it. And here we are trying to get the skins off. So the skin is kind of the section of the chickpea that keeps it moist and it's actually a little bit harder for us to digest. So I find that if you get a little bit gassy or bloated after eating beans and chickpeas, I recommend trying to put the skins off because I really feel like it helps my digestion. And then all you're going to do is try to grab the ones that have the skin removed and then place them onto a baking tray. So everyone does this differently, but from my experience, I find it better to pre-roast them in the oven and then add your spices or your sweetness to it. It makes it a lot more crunchy and like chips. good to me believe me that is the most tedious element of this whole video so if you can get through that you'll be sweet and I'm like the most impatient person ever so just make sure it's a nice flat layer chuck it in your oven on around 180 degrees fan forced until it's nice and golden brown cool. so we're just going to half the mixture into two separate bowls and then get creative oh, no they're going rolling everywhere Grab a piece of alfoil, put it down the middle like that, like a little barrier. Cool. All you're going to do is half a tablespoon of coconut oil, some Himalayan pink salt, but one of my favorite spices of all time is paprika, but in this one, smoked paprika is like so good. A teaspoon. Actually, I'm gonna do it with my hands just so the warmth of my hands liquefies that coconut oil fully. Sweet time. I'm gonna keep this one vegan, so let's go for coconut nectar. One, two, do a sprinkling of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I feel like you either love it or hate it. In our house, we add it to everything. A little crack of salt again, because I like salty and sweet. A little sprinkle of coconut sugar, because I feel like this helps crispen it up. You know when you buy candied nuts? It's kind of like that, it puts like a layer on top. Pour our savory version, and then our sweet version here. And then that's going to go back in the oven for around half an hour. Because I never measure things, I just wing it. It's always a little bit different. My next healthy snack is like an afternoon snack. So around 3 p.m., I always crave sugar. And while I go for healthy sugar, I want something that tastes really desserty and super sweet. So if you love Snickers bars or peanut brittle or just anything kind of like salted caramel, you will love this snack idea. Don't you hate when you put like honey in a spoon and you try to get it out and it's like all gooey? So I always like to grease it with some coconut oil. And then when you put the honey or whatever sweetener you're using in there, it just like glows glides up like a slippery slug. That sounds really unappetizing. It just glides out easily. I'm putting my finger in it. I don't really care. My house, my rules. My food, my rules. Half a cup of any kind of liquid sweetener you want. I would recommend honey, but if you are vegan or if you don't have honey or if you can't eat honey, then I would maybe go for like an agave syrup, whatever. All of my recipes are very flexible and I never measure. So this is like very different for me, but I'm just measuring for you guys for the sake of the bid. Oh my gosh. Look at that, just gliding out like a honey slug. And then you're going to grease up a quarter cup. Again, add any sweetener you want. I'm going to add coconut nectar today. Pour that in there. Ooh, yeah. A heaped tablespoon of coconut sugar. A tablespoon coconut oil. And then we're gonna heat that over the stove until it's like lightly bubbling. Any kind of nut of your choosing. Just from my experience, I feel like these flaked almonds work a lot better. Three quarters of a cup, that much. And then combine our sweet honey 
glaze smells so good and that is literally the recipe like it's so simple you could even make this for like a dinner party or for Christmas just like make it for yourself you know who cares a plate with some baking paper on there and then we're just gonna chuck it in the fridge until it's set but once it's set all you have to do is break it apart oh it's so so yummy so it's healthy fats but it's also quite high in sugar so just enjoy in moderation <gasps> I'm gonna chuck this in the fridge and I cannot wait for it to set rough idea of the videos I'm gonna do roughly what I'm gonna talk about but I never fully plan anything I kind of just wing it and the same goes with recipe number three I just love making granola it changes every time and today is exactly that but I also hope that gives you guys the confidence to just totally wing it like you have some nuts you have some fruit you have a liquid sweetener you'll be fine so just listen to your taste buds grab whatever's in your cupboard so just let me grab my materials yes Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, the base of our granola is going to be a mixture between two things. Activated bikinis. I don't have a lot left. Okay, I've got half a cup. This was called organic puffed quinoa. So let's do a whole cup of that. And then this is where you can get creative and fun. Add anything you want. I'm just gonna literally add handfuls of random things. Handful of coconut, sprinkling of cacao nibs, a large handful of that. Cranberries, roasted nuts, just top it off. Let's just add a cup, roughly chop it until it's like in quarters or halves. Add that in to our mixture. Oh, it looks so pretty and colorful. One tablespoon of coconut oil. This just helps it crisp up in the oven. So let's just start with half a cup of coconut nectar. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need some more. Maybe like a quarter cup more. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. I'll add a tiny bit of cinnamon, only because I know Kurt's gonna love this and Kurt loves cinnamon. Maybe a little bit of coconut sugar. Let's do a taste test. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Okay, usually I do just add baking paper to my tray, but I'm gonna try some coconut oil. So we'll know later if I regret this. I probably will. But add that to the pan. It's 180 degrees in a fan post oven. I'm having so much fun. You guys have no idea. Now I'm gonna chuck that in the oven. Really, really delicious snacks don't have to be super complex and don't have to take your ages in the kitchen. This is like my go-to beach snack. I chop it up at home, I pack it in the little glass container and I take it to the beach with me and I usually share it with my friends if they're lucky. Chop up the watermelon into like decent sized chunks. It's like when you're not actually hungry but you just feel like chewing on something and snacking on something. This is my go-to summer jam. Cut a lemon in half. I love sour things. I'm going to use the juice of half a lemon. Listen to your own sour threshold. But I can like eat lemon, so this is, this is a child's play to me. I'm pretty sure in different countries, they don't call it passion fruit. They call it like, I have no idea. Scoop that on top and then get your little mint leaves off. Chop them as finely as you can. Sprinkle that on top. And then before we add the rest of the passion fruit, I just like to mix it together, massage it in, and then just so it looks pretty, put the rest of the passion fruit on top. Mm. I can like never go back to eating normal watermelon because this is like unbeatable. Sadly, I'm definitely gonna run out of light, so unfortunately, this is going to be my final recipe of the video. But if you guys like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, it supports my channel, and I also love to know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. But before I go, I wanna show you a little tip on a really popular healthy snack, which is nut butter and apples. So I know a lot of people love like peanut butter and apples. Personally, I'm an almond butter girl, but I feel like when you see the ones on Instagram, it's like they have the chopped up apple and the almond butter is like glazed across the top like honey and mine just never looked like that I feel like when I tried to glaze this on top it just comes out like this just like a pile of almond butter my little hack is to add a teaspoon a heaped 
teaspoon of almond butter to a little bowl with a tiny dash of almond milk, some cinnamon or some coconut sugar or whatever you want to it and then mix it together. So for me, when I'm having an apple and almond butter, I can literally like down a whole jar of almond butter with one apple. So this just like stretches it out and makes one teaspoon of nut butter last your whole apple. Now I'm all assuming we know how to cut an apple into slices, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that. I never really like to chop my apples up before I go somewhere because they do go a little bit brown. I don't think at school you're allowed to take a knife, I don't really know, but if you're going to work, I would suggest bringing your apple whole and then chopping it up on your break and then drizzling this on top. So you can just put it in like a little snap container or even better if you can find one of those little glass containers. So that is my little hack when it comes to nut butter and fruit. Like I said, I know this is like a very generic, unoriginal snack, but I just wanted to help you out with that whole glazing technique. I had such a fun time making this, not only because now I have a house full of delicious healthy treats, but I really do love helping you guys in regards to your healthy eating and your healthy snacking. When I was on my fitness journey, when I was starting out my fitness journey, that's one thing I really struggled with because I loved candy and chocolate bars and chips and I just thought the only thing to snack on was plain nuts and plain fruit. And while I do love to snack on that stuff, I do think it's fun to just mix it up every now and then and just show yourself that eating healthy is super fun and enjoyable. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every three days. Oh, what the heck is that? It smells good, doesn't it? What is this? Mmm. I made that one for you because it's cinnamon. Hashtag milk life prep. My kids are just gonna be decked out. They're not even gonna know what roll ups and Doritos and like chocolate is. Mm -mm -mm. See you guys in my next video. See ya.